It's lambing season at Penn State's Beef and Sheep Center. Along with 100 ewes here, more than 72 babies have been born this spring. We have two different types of, or two different breeds here. Um, we have the Suffolk Camp crosses, um, and then we also have, that would be the black face lambs and ewes, and then we have the purebred Dorsets. Morgan Brumball is a Penn State alum and assistant manager at the center. She says the goal here is education. In addition to our 10 live-in students, we also have, I would say probably around seven additional students that work that live um, on campus or in apartments um, that also come and work here. So we try to keep a big crew and um, you know, we want to give the students the opportunity to kind of do the day-to-day -day stuff and learn in that respect. One of those students is Taylor Gargas. She's worked here since her freshman year. Usually I am on sheep side, so whether it's trimming feet, dealing with any problems with that aspect or anything, or vaccinating sheep, or the other day it was shearing sheep in the morning, so you never really know what you're gonna walk into in the morning, you just kinda gotta roll with the flow. Um, but it's always, always super fun and there's always lots of things to do. Students like Taylor get to do the feeding, day-to-day -day care, and learn about raising these animals. They get to apply some of the things, you know, the nutrition, reproduction, um, genetics, a lot of that stuff that they're learning in their classes, they get to kind of see how it works um, out in the industry as well, you know, while they're going to school. Lambing season comes with its challenges, of course, but the students wouldn't trade it for anything. And I usually help feed in the lambing room every morning, so going in and checking on everybody and seeing the newborns is a great start to your morning. So it's a good, it's a good way to start your morning is looking at baby sheep. In College Township, I'm Jessica Heisey for the Center County Report.